Hey gamers, it's Grand This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. And I'm running the preview version of the uh, Quality of Life Upgrade Mark II. And there's some new stuff in here, and I'll briefly go over that. Uh, I'll just show you here. There's a, a to-do list now for, for dupes, so it makes it much easier to figure out what dupes are doing. Now uh, let's follow, follow Marie there. So we can see like all the stuff that she has queued up and then right now she's doing flipping compost and the next thing will probably be disinfect maybe the compost. Oh disinfect and then go store oxalate etc etc. She looks very happy. <laughs> Almost too happy. I think she has sunny disposition that's probably why. can't remember. Anyway we'll stop following her because it's pretty hard to watch. Um, I've done a lot of stuff since the last episode. Uh, more digging, as you can, or more filling, as you can see. This whole block is pretty much close to done. Um, I filled in this whole section here. I filled up here. Now I did have some issues with my water. I have actually too much water, and it was overflowing. It got up to this point here, and then started to overflow into here. So I had to change things around. So before I was dumping the water from this level here, extra sieved water would dump into here. But I've changed that to put the output pipe underwater, and that prevents it from overflowing. Plus I have some logic here. If the water level gets to here, we close this door, and uh, it prevents this from overflowing. Um, what else has happened? Uh, I used to be making oxalate in here, but I stopped doing that because I'm not using the rockets anymore because I went to every single planet. So now I'm just making oxygen instead and it's just kind of filling up the map here. So if we zoom out on everything, it's everything that's left is pretty much full of oxygen, except for the very lower level here. Uh, there's some CO2, which I'll eventually get rid of. I do have some carbon skimmer here. It's using fresh water, barely, because there's hardly any CO2. And I'm sending all the CO2 from all the power right here. And there's a sc uh, scrubber down here as well for any CO2 that builds up. I, I, I should really locate this down here. But I am slowly filling up the bottom here with build orders. And then I'm going to just make my way up to the top from the very bottom. So eventually this will all be full. So I just go around the base and do this. Uh, this is priority 8. I guess that's fine. Uh, what else has been going on here? I want to consolidate all this water down to the bottom here. Probably like this. And then let it collect in there. Now on this preview build, it was crashing a lot. Um, when it first came out, all the door permissions were were not followed. So I had dupes. I used to have a door down... Where was it? Down here. Now before I had it locked, it was just everything was by permission, so I said no dupes allowed here. But all my dupes started running out here without suits and running down here and going down to the bottom and getting scorched. So that was kind of bad. None of them died. I had to like manually tell them all to go to the top and then I locked that door. But even after a reload, it forgot all the permissions, so I didn't play the game for a couple days because of that. And then some of the other bugs were if you just if you deconstructed a door, the game crashed. If you deconstructed a tube, the game crashed. Um, up until today, if you replaced, well, they added the feature where you can upgrade the ladder, so that's really nice. I can upgrade plastic or regular ladders to plastic now. Very nice. But up up until a few, well, not a few hours ago, but earlier today, there was a fix. Uh, Without that fix, they wouldn't be able to use the ladder after they built it. So all my dupes got trapped and uh, they almost all died. So that's been fixed. So it's still pretty early days. So the to-do list is one of the new things. What else is new? There's new artifacts that you can get from space. But uh, I haven't gotten any because I decommissioned all my rockets. They used to be right here, but I tore them all down. Because I wasn't going to use them anymore and I just wanted to kind of minimize the lag in the base. And I'm going to deconstruct all this as well. Because it's kind of half broken anyway. Plus I don't need liquid oxygen anymore. 
I was going to build some kind of retirement community in here, and I might still do that. I noticed the hydrogen levels are kind of coming down here. i got to burn off that hydrogen. I've just been kind of tidying things up as I go along. Uh, I need to get rid of this here and start filling it in. I still have a, few, a couple brain upgrades to do, so I'll probably do that off camera. So just slowly filling up the bottom here. Using the materials that are left. So I'm out of sandstone pretty much. I have 300, almost 400 tons of igneous rock. 300 tons of granite. Uh, some obsidian, but it's going pretty fast. Hopefully I'll have enough to fill up the map. I'm not even sure if I will. Now with this preview build, I don't know, I hope it doesn't stay like this, but... Uh, loading the game takes, with this map, it took me about three minutes, and that's about, uh, that's on an SSD. And saving the game, as you'll see in a sec here, I'll speed things up. The save cycle is really slow now. So it's kind of, kind of hard to play until we get out of preview. Oh, the music just kind of faded out there, that was weird. Weird indeed. Okay, let me just start filling this in here. Uh, I let the food run down, so I turned off all food sources. And we're down to 200k food. Which is probably kind of low, actually. I'm going to turn on these lights now. And I'm going to turn on the fertilizer. Maybe a higher priority. And hopefully this will be enough food for everyone. Because we'll get double the growth out of these fertilizer thingies. Farmer's Touch. Double the growth rate. For some reason they stopped using pinch pepper nut. Uh, so I have 20, almost 2200 kilograms of pinch pepper nut. There's a lot of bugs left. Th food, food that they've been making, they'll just stop making sometimes. It's really bizarre. Occasionally I have to go in here and either deconstruct these or redo the cooking orders. Okay, here's the save. Oh, we're at cycle 3400. Okay. I was able to run the game non-stop for 8 hours, but then it crashed. So it's still not perfect. Okay, that wasn't cycle 3400. One more to go. But things are going pretty well. They're pretty much idle unless I've got a build order going on. There's a little bit of farming and stuff that goes on, but... Uh, I'm not using this power anymore. Take that away. And I'll keep building this along here. Actually, watch them get their heads stuck. They're really good at that. The frame rates are better, though. So I'm getting about 22 FPS. I think it was slower before. But it's really the autosave that just kills the game. I really hope they allow us to disable autosave. And I think it's so slow because the reports are in the autosave all the way back to just 3,400 reports. And there's a lot of detail in here. It's probably only a few kilobytes of data, but it, uh, it has to compress it all, I think, every time. This I'm not using anymore, so we'll get rid of that. I kind of made this, I squared this off a little bit because I was, it was all disorderly. This might actually crack here, I just realized. <laughs> That's a lot of water pressure pushing down on those two tiles. But I've generally left, generally left it four wide on each edge, so it should be okay. This looks like it could be a little weak, but should be fine. I finally filled in the holes that were in, in here somewhere. There were some two little holes. I might even start filling in the base where the dupes don't go. Like uh, this area here, it's not really used, so I might fill it up. 
or put some kind of art exhibit. Our puffs have been going pretty well. Temperature is pretty nice in here. It's getting fed with really hot polluted oxygen at 220 degrees. But the minute it comes in, they kind of slurp it up. Anyway, so back to the new stuff in this update. The, the artifacts, which are things like um, just little trinkets and stuff that give decor, you can find out on the star map. Uh, I don't have a rocket anymore, so I can't really see. Oh, artifacts. Oh, I've never even, I've actually never clicked on this since I got the preview. So artifacts, tier one, tier two, tier three. I guess that's the percentage chance of getting one, maybe. Probably. Let's see. Someone put on the forum what each tier does in terms of decor. I think tier five is like 200 decor or something. I think tier five is the top. Yeah. Oh, 20% chance if we go all the way out there. So one of the one of the artifacts is like a little broken saxophone. They're about one tile or two tiles big. They're kind of kind of cute. I didn't want to switch my game to sandbox mode to load them in. I don't even know if you can load them in in sandbox. You might have to go launch some rockets. Uh, there was a bunch of bug fixes. Um, pathfinding is now multi-threaded, so that should be much faster now for both dupes and animals. So a lot of people have been saying they're getting great performance. Um, I'm getting better performance, but not great. I don't think I have a lot of crazy pathfinding uh, like possibilities. There's quite a few, but most of my map is almost full now, so the pathfinding should be constrained in here once it's completely full. Okay, what else do we have going on here? I put some cooling up here. This is an infinite loop here of just hydrogen. And it's cooling off this geyser here, or it's trying to cool off this geyser. At one point this actually froze when the geyser was dormant, but now it's hot again. But it keeps it generally cool. And it also keeps this was keeping this room warm. Uh, I removed, there was metal plate here before, but I removed it because it was getting too hot in here. But now, the reason I put this pinch pepper nut farm here was to actually use up all this liquid in here. And I wanted to keep it at 45 degrees, so I got a liquid tepidizer in there that runs occasionally. And any extra polluted ice I dig up, I've been putting along here. That just melts in and gets <laughs> warmed up and used here. What priority did I do that? Eight. Okay. This little guy, I think he might be the only wild Treco left. He's been depositing meat in there for a long time. I think I'll leave him alone till the very end. Uh, let's see here. I gotta keep building this up though. I gotta figure out what I want to do here. I might have to leave this passageway in here while I build all this up. But to, in order to build up, I have to first... I don't have to deconstruct here, but I will. So yeah, all this stuff's gonna get buried. I should probably recharge this thing and use it before it's inaccessible. I'll probably get rid of this ladder up here and all these ladders as we go up. Still have quite a bit of stuff to fill in. I've, I've dug up all the Wild sleet wheat. Don't really need that anymore. I do have a tiny sleet wheat farm just to keep the species alive right here. Just manually watered. No one's been watering it because they're busy doing other stuff. But I don't really need the sleet wheat. So it's kind of kind of extra. But things have been running pretty well. Uh, a few stressed out dupes. Uh, the two astronauts, red and white, get stressed out once in a while if they're not eating good food and then they have to occasionally get on the massage tables. But it's pretty rare for them to do that. Here, come, here comes the autosave. Maybe we can zoom out here. See what they're doing.
I kind of wanted to do a little video, a day in the life of a dupe, and just follow them around. Just a really short video. I'm not sure if I, I might still do that. Every time I autosave, I'm a little bit worried it's going to crash. The temperatures are kind of evening out. And the map's generally getting colder over time, I think. Except for these uh, geyser spots, which are still pretty hot, close to 100. I'd like the map to be like fully accessible without suits, but it's kind of impossible for things like this. They can't breathe in here. And that's pretty hot down here. Actually, only 45. They'd probably be okay, but... It's, uh, it was 100 here earlier, but I put more Weezworts in. I do have more. I have 17 extra Weezworts that I'm not really using. And there's quite a few that are, are too cold. They're not. They're just being wasted. I put my compost in here to keep it kind of germ-free. Slime is being conveyed down here into here to get turned into slime. I think I mentioned all this last episode, though. I can't remember. I'm probably repeating myself. But uh, I don't think I need this anymore. I could probably get rid of this uh, insulating area. If I do, everything is going to melt in here. So I'd rather store the ice away first. Let's get this built here. I'm using granite at the moment. Let's pause while I build here. Oh, I can't do this yet, or it'll get trapped. I really wish there was a way to get rid of abyssalite. I guess there's a there's a there's a shine bug that'll eat it. The oh, let's let's get someone in here first. Uh, how about Florian? I think I have two upgrades left. Oh, there's another new thing, of this emergency priority. You can see there's, it turns on red alert <laughs> and it makes them do the most important stuff. But I'm gonna turn that off because I don't really want that. Oh. For some reason, I can't turn it off. <laughs> there we go. That's like if your dupe gets stuck and you gotta dig them out. That's the thing you use. Uh, is there any other new stuff? If you read the patch notes, there's a lot of bug fixes and changes in there, but... Oh, there's one that people don't like, and that's that you can't build... You can't build a door on top of a background tile now. So let me just show you an example. Actually, these used to be on background tile. Let's see if they changed it. I don't think they have. Yeah, so you can't build a door on background wall, which is kind of unfortunate. Otherwise, when the door opens, all the air goes into the vacuum. So it's kind of, kind of crappy. I think they're probably going to roll that one back, though. And we got our auto save. Oh my gosh, it takes so long. Okay. So yeah, no more rockets. The whole ceiling or top is sealed. Just gotta fill in this chunk. And then the bottom. And then this left quadrant is pretty much the only thing, only thing left. Maybe a little bit in here. And then the top, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do at the top. I gotta see how many materials I have left. I could try to do background tile across the whole space here, but I don't think it's gonna work. I have, I've had little pockets of hydrogen get stuck, like right over here. And I've had to make, um, 
which I call airflow tile in certain areas where hydrogen was getting stuck. Oh, my uh, visco gel airlock froze solid up here. It was right here. I had to dig it out. And a dupe almost died in here as well. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Um, yeah, I got way too cold in here. In fact, I don't need these all these wheeze warts in here. I'm gonna uproot them, I think. I might leave one. It's probably unnecessary, but... So yeah, that's the progress of the base. Um, oxygen has not been an issue. Show your report here. Gallery generation. We were negative 20,000 on average. And I brought it down from 2 million food to... Oh, it's still going down, I think. I think this might be enough, though. If not, we can always turn my third farm on. In fact, I might do that. Turn these on. I want the food to be stable. I don't want it to be growing again. I should probably just do the math and figure out what these actually output. And then it would be easier. But there we go. It should start going up with these three farms. They should be turning it into stuffed berry. Is that what he just made? Yeah. Stuffed berry is pretty good quality, not the best. I also have a sleepweed farm, like I said, uh, but no one's irrigating it, and that's intentional. Because I want them to build the big monoliths. Big, the big blocks first. So not much, uh, not much in terms of features in this upgrade, which is good. I mean, they should be focusing on performance and that kind of stuff. Can't remember if there's anything else that's major in there. I don't think so. Artifacts, uh, multi-threading for pathing. Extremely so slow saves. Um, no, that wasn't in there. It got worse though, but it's a preview build, so. And the uh, to-do list, which is really handy. The emergency priority thing. But I think that's the major, those are the major things. I didn't want this to be a long episode anyway. I just wanted to kind of show you the progress of the, uh, of the project here. Try to fit it all on the screen. Yeah, there we are. So I don't know if I'll start a new map anytime soon. Um, might take a break from the game. There's a lot of other games that I want to try. I'm partway through a Graveyard Keeper series, which I'm really enjoying. It's probably close to the end. But I might try Factorio out. I might try Green Hell out. Um, Got a lot of requests to do a bit more Surviving Mars, so I might do that. And I've got a big list of games. Astroneer, there's the new um, Don't Starve Hamlet. There's there's so many games, so little time. And also I have a RimWorld series that's kind of on pause. I want to kind of finish that off as well. And some long dark stuff, long dark stuff. Uh, so lots of stuff to play, no shortage of games. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.